Hello, this is Angela with Park Rose Permaculture. It is December 2nd, 2017, and I am not in the garden today. Uh, I was out earlier stacking wood, but it is rainy and cold, and I wanted to make a quick video about our new house project. So um, we put in a wood burning stove, which you can see right here. Um, so I started with um, soapstone that I got on Craigslist for $1.20 a tile. Um, which was like super super cheap um, and I put a plywood so there's a plastic vapor barrier and then plywood and then the thin set and then the soapstone and then obviously I grabbed it um, so the whole cost for the hearth for our wood stove is about $85 I'm about to um, cut and trim it out um, it was only put in this week so uh, I haven't had time to trim it out yet but that's gonna get trim around it look really nice and finished um, so our wood stove is a yodel 602 it is uh, super high efficiency non um, catalytic wood stove so it requires less maintenance it's not as efficient as a catalytic stove but um, again uh, less maintenance still gets a federal and state tax credit because it is so efficient I believe 74% efficiency um, so this is a really small wood stove. I'm gonna stand up here so you can see. Um, it's in our living room here. So um, this is the window seat, um, side yard. So you can see it's really small. Um, it heats um, 900 to 1,000 square feet. Um, and it's not our only source of heat. So we wanted something that would heat the living room. Our house is about a little under 1,500 square feet. And then um, we're gonna be cutting a register in the ceiling here and directly above here is my girl's bedroom so we're gonna send heat to the upstairs that way we'll get a register in the ceiling and one in the floor upstairs to carry heat up um, so this is uh, the front of the wood stove here and you can see that um, has a little lever here it's wooden so it won't hurt you it's not hot um, this is the firebox it's pretty small but it will take a 16 inch log um, what I found is that the pieces need to be split a little bit smaller otherwise it gets too hot if you put a really big log in um, and then up above we have um, this has a, a stainless steel burner plate you can see here on top of it I have a cast iron pot that I'm doing baked potatoes in right now um, and then on top of that is our Peltier fan so it runs um, with thermo thermoelectric, um, so it doesn't have to plug in. It's just the heat differential between the hot stove, or in this case, the pot, and then the cooling tower here. Um, there's a little Peltier that uh, converts that into electricity, and that turns the fan. And that blows the heat out into the room, um, and that can reduce the amount of fuel you need to heat a larger room by um, close to 20%. So it really pushes the heat out into the room. Um, so way out into our front um, sunroom out there, it, it will warm that up quite nicely. Otherwise the heat kind of hangs out in this room. So here's our wood stove um, thermometer. We In Oregon, you have to have this double walled pipe. So this is actually, I can touch it. It's not crazy, crazy hot. It's probably like 150, 180 degrees. Um, but to get an accurate temperature, you need to look at the thermometer on the wood stove itself. So this is the optimal burn zone. Um, it needs to be between three and 550 degrees, 300 and 550 degrees. So um, lower than that, you'll get creosote buildup in your chimney. Higher than that, you're at risk of overheating and cracking your wood stove. So um, a good thing about the burn zone being between three and 400 degrees, it's nice for cooking lots of things. So even though this is a small wood stove and we weren't able to afford something like a some of the really nice soapstone ones that have a shelf for cooking bread and things like that. I can still cook things on this pot, including sourdough, baked potatoes, stew, um, things like that. So anyway, that's a look at our indoor house project. So this is our Yodel 602 uh, non-catalytic wood stove. And I'll be back soon with some winter pruning and gardening videos. Thanks.